Hey guys, this is Chef Angela Michelle and I am back showing you how to make the most simple and the most delicious Yukon Gold potatoes that you could ever make. So, just to show you an example, see there's organic gold that says gold. You can't really see it because the bag is not cooperating. Let's try this. There you go. Organic gold potatoes okay now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you wash your potatoes because we're keeping the skin on so this is how the potato looks right out the back and this is how a scrubbed clean potato looks so I'm gonna put them side by side there oh yeah you can definitely see the difference right okay so you want to make sure they look like this they need to be clean because we are eating the skin on these potatoes, which is actually where most of the nutrients are. It's kind of like apples. So what we want to do is we want to hold our knife. Remember what I taught you, pinch the blade with your thumb and your index finger. Your remaining fingers go around the handle of the blade, just like this, okay? And all you're gonna do is slice them in half. That's all you're gonna do. Look how cute they are inside, <laughs> right? All right, so these guys are small enough that you only need to cut them in half. Like that's the only cut that's required on these. You don't have to do any more, any less, unless you want to. So see, this guy is a little bit bigger than say this guy. So this guy right here on the left, I would cut him in half. This guy on the right, I would probably cut into thirds. So let me show you what I mean. Let's do the half first. There, you see what size you end up with? Now this guy, because he's a little bigger, I'll cut him into thirds. So I'll probably cut the top part and then the bottom part like that. So you see when you put them in the pan, they're all still relatively the same size, okay? So I'm gonna finish cutting my potatoes and then I'll be right back to show you the next step of these delicious Yukon Gold potatoes. Hey, hey, this is Chef Angela Michelle and I am back. As you can see, I have a cast iron skillet full of these beautiful Yukon Gold potatoes. Now, as you can see, the skillet's quite full. Um, this is probably about, let's see here, one, two, three, eh, probably about four cups full. I think I did like 16 potatoes, okay? So 16 of these small potatoes. Now, notice I don't have anything in the bottom of the pan. Like this just started off as a clean cast iron skillet, all right? So there's only three things we need to add to this. That's it, I promise you. Three things and they turn out the best. Now, one is a little bit of fat. You're gonna need a little bit of oil. Now there's two that I recommend. One is just a regular olive oil. Please do not use extra virgin olive oil. You want high heat olive oil. See, it says sauteing and grilling, so that's definitely for high heat, right? Extra virgin olive oil is not for high heat, so just remember that. Now, if you want a little bit more flavor, whenever you're cooking potatoes, peanut oil. As long as you don't have a nut allergy, peanut oil is the best. It goes great with potatoes. And see here, frying marinades, okay? We're gonna use this for roasting. So, I am going to be a little creative here. And you see, you only need a little bit. Now remember, oil, one tablespoon is 120 calories. So I'm literally just kind of using a half tablespoon of each oil, that's it, okay? Now what I wanna do is get in here because I want some of that oil on all of the surface area of these potatoes, okay? The skin, the flesh, everything. I wanna make sure there's oil on all parts of it. So even if I have to pick up each one and just kinda of rub it like this, that's what you wanna do. You wanna make sure that each piece of potato has oil on all of the surface area, okay? Now, once you're done with that part, you need to wipe the oil off your hands. Look how oily my hands are. It's good for my nails though. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna wash my hands. 
And then we're going to come back with the second ingredient. So the first ingredient was oil. The second ingredient, believe it or not, is just salt. And I'm using coarse kosher salt for this. Okay. And I'm going to sprinkle some just right on top there. I mean, it'll kind of dwindle down and get on all pieces. Don't go overboard with the salt, guys, okay? That should be enough. Just make sure each piece has a little bit of salt on it. All right? Now, the last ingredient. This is very, very important. The last ingredient is... Dun, 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 dun. Drum roll. <laughs> Ground black pepper. <laughs> That's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. I'm gonna shake a little bit on top. I don't wanna go crazy with the black pepper. There, that's it. That is it. All you need is a little bit of fat, and a little bit of seasoning, and I have the oven at 400 degrees. I'm gonna cover this with some aluminum foil, just like that. I'm gonna cover it tight, seal it, stick it in the oven, and let it go and I promise you you will have the best tasting roasted potatoes okay so make sure you stay tuned and come back so you can see the final product this is chef Angela Michelle and we're making the most delicious I don't want to say nutritious but the, the most delicious easiest Yukon go roasted potatoes be right back Hey guys, this is Chef Angela Michelle, and we are back with our Yukon Gold Potatoes. Now, I just took them out of the oven. They have been in there for about 35 minutes. And look at that. Look at that. You can't tell me that does not look like the perfect roasted potato. Come in for a close-up. Yep, 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 yep. Look at that beautiful isn't it and that's it the flavor of these potatoes are so wonderful trust me you're going to love it look at that look how that's what I wanted to show you see how soft it is on the inside look at that it's so soft so good I can't wait to eat these anyway I just wanted to show you this another quick easy way but different something different for potatoes okay so make sure you check out the recipe. I will have it listed on our blog, which is culinarykisses.com forward slash blog. The name of the blog is from the catwalk to the kitchen. So make sure that you go check that out. We have some more stuff going on here. We have some green beans. We have some chicken. So make sure you check out those recipes too to get the full meal of what I'm preparing this evening. So until next time, this is Chef Angela Michelle. Food and kisses.